Good morning, loved ones. I hope you had a good night's sleep. I did. I slept like a baby. And uh, I have styled my hair today on my own and it feels much more like myself. Uh, now, when, you know, it's always interesting when I get it styled at the salon. I'm like, oh, this is, uh, but then when I get to do it myself, I'm like, yeah, this is, this is me, you know, this I can do. But um, I am happy with my new hairstyle. It feels like, you know, someone approaching 40 and not someone trying to be 20. Um, so, I'm, yeah, I'm really happy with it. Um, I'm grateful today for uh, such an amazing day yesterday with my boyfriend. We just did nothing. And I don't think we ever had that kind of day. Like, we were, you know, watching, like... TV series and like went out for a pizza and there was a storm in Stockholm and uh, and apparently there was like a ferry on an island um, uh, called Gotland, the biggest island in Sweden. There was a ferry that was like cut loose and uh, so it was a big drama uh, and we were just staying inside and we kind of missed it. But uh, I'm very grateful for, for the lovely time spent indoors yesterday. Today it's a beautiful day and I'm going for lunch with a good friend of mine. I haven't seen her in a long time um, and I'm really I'm grateful for that and, and I'm looking forward to catch up and see what she's up to nowadays. I think when you when you're in the age of you know having friends you know starting families or having families for, for a long time it's really hard to find the time to catch up. Um, so I'm grateful to have a lunch booked with her. I'm also grateful to have my Monday off. Although for me, being off nowadays doesn't mean that I'm off. Because until the end of April, I am also a student. So I need to study today. And um, I'm not a good student. Never been. Uh, it's such a challenge for me to get my homework done, to do what I'm supposed to do, to follow, you know, the, the studying, um, um, the studying alternative, like, you know, you always get like this guide and, um, and I have such a problem following it. I'm such a rebel at heart. So for me to, to do something that I'm told to do is I'm probably one of the biggest challenges in my life. When someone tells me that I have to do something, I'm like, fuck off. That I that's not gonna happen uh, but um but i'm trying it's for my own sake it's for some future goals that i want to achieve so i should really be motivated and do it you know but still like you know to just get the discipline of sitting down and focus it's such a challenge anyways um uh, i am grateful that i am slowly at the age of 38 like sometimes at least managing the discipline of actually doing it um, that's where we are so we're gonna get done on our sitting bones and straighten the back up close your eyes and focus on the area between your eyebrows the third eye looking upwards We're gonna start taking control over our breath. On the inhalation, feel how your belly is expanding. On the exhalation, drag your belly button towards the spine. Inhale.
beautiful. We're gonna come back to this breathing eventually, but before we do that, we're gonna do the breath of fire. And we do it by pushing our belly button towards the spine, quick and fast. Inhale, just go. Beautiful. Now we're gonna do the hip row. Inhale forward. Exhale back. We're going to switch direction. Beautiful, we're gonna come to all our fours. Place your hands straight underneath your shoulders, place your knees straight underneath your hips on the inhale. As you come forward with your belly, look halfway up the steel. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. We stop in a neutral position. From here we're gonna do um, a balancing and strengthening pose. So we're gonna really ground our right hand and our left knee. And on the next inhalation, straighten out your left arm and your right leg. On the in exhalation, meet either with the elbow and knee or the forehead knee. Inhale, straighten up. Exhale, meet. Beautiful, we're gonna do the same on the other side. So ground your left hand and your right knee, inhale, straighten up. Exhale, come down. Inhale, straighten up. Exhale. 
beautiful. We're gonna come to child's pose. Inhale, come up. We're gonna do a hip opener. So place your knees on a row, widen between your legs. So you can come down with your butt. And we're gonna hold this for seven breaths. Inhale, come up. We're gonna switch our legs. And come down. Inhale, come down. And come up with your legs. Come down on your sitting bones. We're gonna finish with the meditation. So straighten your back up, close your eyes, and focus on the area between your eyebrows, the third eye looking inwards. Let this eye lead you to the area around your heart. In this area, you find an inner room. We're gonna spend some time just for yourself. There is nothing that has been, nothing that will. Be, it's only you in this moment. to your forehead for you to think good thoughts through the day, to your mouth for you to speak the truth, and to your heart for you to follow your heart and to connect yourself into other people. Namaste. Mm -hmm. Remember to go out there and give to this world today. Whatever you have to give is very unique and the world needs, needs that. So go out there and do that. I'm gonna try to do the same. Uh, I love you and I'll see you tomorrow. Ciao.